Hi, my name is Catherine. I'm the director of the Bobblehead Museum, and this is Director's Corner. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about a very special anniversary that we're celebrating at the museum. It's the 10th anniversary of the first bobblehead that the founders produced. Uh, that was of Michael Pohl. We're going to be talking with uh, one of the museum's co-founders, Phil Sklar, and also a uh, Milwaukee Panthers superfan uh, and Special Olympian Michael Pohl. So in August of 2013, um, Phil Sklar and Brad Novak, who are the founders of the museum, um, decided to make a bobblehead. And it was a bobblehead of their friend, Michael Pohl, who is here with me right now. Um, so I just want to ask you a couple questions about uh, being friends with the founders and about what it's like to have a bobblehead made, okay? So I know that you are a uh, UW-Milwaukee Panthers super fan and also manage a lot of their sports teams, right? Yep. What is the favorite sport that you manage? Everybody at UWM. Everybody at UWM? All right. And I actually had to write this down because it says that you manage um, men's and women's basketball, soccer, baseball, volleyball, tennis, swimming and diving, cross country, and track and field. Did I miss anything? Uh, nope. Nope. That's amazing. That's really impressive. And not only that, but you are a Special Olympian. Uh, what sports have you represented? I went to USA Games in 1994 in uh, Connecticut, 1995 North Carolina, and then 2003 in South Washington University for the Games too. So it is really no surprise that the guys uh, thought that you deserved a bobblehead. Do you remember meeting them? I heard today that you've been friends with them for over 20 years or around 20 years. Yeah. So remember meeting them at the food court. I still remember, um, gosh, I still remember the first girls game. I went, I saw them guys there and then I came up and juiced myself and I saw them at the boys basketball games when I saw them when I induced myself and I still remember that day. Oh my gosh, remember that. Then we came friends. <laughs> Now, uh, what, do you, what did you think when they said that they wanted to make a bobblehead of you? Fly with me is a dream came true. It's, a, it's an amazing thing in life for me. That's fantastic. And you have been pretty involved in the museum, too. I know that I get to see you here a lot, and we have a poster talking all about um, your life and how yours was the first bobblehead. Did you, when you met them, think that that was going to happen? Uh, yes, they will. I think that will happen. I still remember they asked me, like, uh, one home games if you want to, and I said, sure, let's do it. That's excellent. I love it. So um, now I have a bobblehead of myself, too, but I did not earn it the way you did. Mine is just kind of like a business card, but yours really shows just what kind of a special person you are and how big a role you've played in Milwaukee. Um, I also know one thing about being with you in public is that you know everybody. Everybody comes up and says that they know Michael. Uh, what's it like being a celebrity? Slippery Sally is like uh, like going to UWM home games, like like going to the UWM pageant home game with every parent come up and say hi to me. Like they told me, please keep your eye on your kids for us, so I do the every home games, like spend time with all the athletes. It's like a uh, family, to, it's, it's actually it's like a family to me. That's fantastic. Um, what bobblehead should we make next? Uh, maybe we need to make one of me, Phil, Brad, combined with a three together about head now. That's a really good idea. <laughs> All right. Well, do you have anything else you'd like to say? Unbelievable. Happy anniversary for everybody. I want to say that. That's great. Thank you so much for being here, Michael. Uh, Phil, can you tell me about your uh, friendship with Michael? 
Yeah, so we met Michael in the dorms at UWM in 2002 uh, when we were living in the dorms and shortly after we moved in, uh, we saw Michael in there a lot and around campus and so we started to talk to him and he told us he lived in the dorms. Uh, we found out he didn't actually live in the dorms. That was one of probably the first of a million you know, lies or uh, <laughs> jokes that he's told us. But um, yeah, so we got to know him well and started to go to UWM games with them, and then we'd take him to some other events like Brewers games or Summerfest and different things, and uh, just continue to become, you know, great friends with him and his family. So what gave you the idea to make a bobblehead of him? We initially reached out to UWM and suggested that they do it as a, like a giveaway, but they didn't have really a budget for it, and so we decided to take, you know, matters into our own hands and um, have the bobblehead produced and had a really good experience with that uh, that entire process and from there started to make a list of other people that might be deserving of a bobblehead. Right and um, I know that some of the proceeds of the bobblehead have gone to the Special Olympics. Uh, can you tell me more about that? Yeah so one of the main things we wanted to do was you know both honor Michael and raise money for North Suburban Special Olympics which is his Special Olympics you know group that he's participated with for now probably close to 40 years or 30 to 40 years. Um, so yeah, we have uh, some of the money from every bobblehead sold goes to them. Uh, Michael was doing a lot of the sales when we first came in. You know, he'd go around to sp at sporting events and bring him around. To date, around $3,000 um, generated just from the sale of his bobblehead, but probably a lot more from people who found out about Special Olympics because of Michael or because of his bobblehead. I think he came up with a really good idea for the next bobblehead. What do you think? I think so, too, yeah. A triple bobble, it sounded mm -hmm. like, yes. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for sitting down with us. This is a special anniversary for the museum. Yes, it is, and it's exciting. We st still have some Michael bobbleheads left, although not too many. <laughs> yeah. So people can get them here at the museum or online. But, yeah, it's exciting, and you can read more about Michael online or see more about him at the museum. He's His bobbleheads in a few different spots. Mm -hmm. We could probably even get him to autograph some of them. That's right, and, and he has done that before mm -hmm. for people. So, yeah, some people have very limited Michael Pohl autograph bobbleheads. That's true. Yeah, so thank you very much for sitting down with me. This is uh, the 10th anniversary of um, making a bobblehead of a really special and deserving person.